Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. And this video series is a review for my Math 21 Intro to Statistics class for their midterm. We are using the Sullivan Woodbury Interactive Statistics textbook, and we are covering chapters one through seven on this midterm review. In this video, we'll take a look at three binomial probability problems. We'll learn how to set them up, identify the important values, and use StatCrunch for the calculations. First problem, a recent report stated that 84% of all elementary school teachers have a computer at home. If 12 elementary school teachers are selected at random, find the probability that eight of them have a computer at home. This is a binomial probability problem. We're selecting eight out of 12, and we have the probability of success given to us. List the important information, n is 12, we're looking to compute the probability that x equals exactly 8. The success, what we're counting, is that a person has a computer at home. Do we know that probability? Yes, we do. It says that 84% have a computer at home. So the value of p in this problem is 0.84. Let's go to StatCrunch. We begin by opening the binomial calculator under stat, calculator is binomial. Our value of n was 12, p was 0.84, and we're looking for x to be equal to 8, compute, and to four decimal places our probability is 0 0.0804. Next. 60% of the students at a particular community college are female. If 13 students at that college are selected at random, find the probability that between five and 10 students are female. So another binomial problem, we're looking at the probability of selecting between five and 10 students out of 13. N is 13. And for X, we're looking at five less than or equal to X, less than or equal to 10. What are we counting? We're looking for between five and 10 students that are female. So the success in this problem is being female. Do we know the probability that someone is female? Yes, 60% are female. So we'll use 0.6 for P. Let's go to StatCrunch. In this problem, N was 13, P was 0.6, and we'll use the between tab to look between five and 10. So five less than or equal to X, less than or equal to 10, compute. And there's our probability to four decimal places, 0 0.9100. One to go. 10% of the adults in a certain city hold a bachelor's or higher degree. If five adults from this city are selected at random, find the probability that at least three do not have a bachelor's or higher degree. Another binomial problem, this time n is five. Five adults are selected at random. And we're looking for x to be at least three. x is greater than or equal to three. What are we counting? We're counting the number of people that do not have a bachelor's or higher degree. So the success is do not have the degree. Do we know the percentage of people that don't have the degree? Not directly. We're told that 10% hold the degree, but we're looking for the percentage that do not have the degree. If 10% do have a degree, the other 90% do not. So we'll use 0.9 for P. Let's go back to StatCrunch one last time. For this example, N was five. P was 0.9, go back to the standard tab, and we're looking for the probability that X was greater than or equal to three. Press compute, and there's our probability 0.9914. I hope you find this video helpful. If you need to reach out to me, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, which is georgewoodbury.com. You can also get a copy of the midterm review off of my homepage, click on the link that says materials for my statistics students. You can also reach out to me on Twitter 
at George Woodbury.